part. This is the exact same process that was done during the Civil War. The photographs we do are on tin plates and glass plates. The cameras that I use date back to the 1860s, and that's why they look as authentic as they do. Now, what I'm doing is the last step of the process here. This is called varnishing. What that does is seal the image to the plate, and that will be on there forever. Now that has to dry. Basically it cures. We have almost like a little oven in here. They had, of course, uh, a little gas lamp in there that they would dry them with. We also had a lot of studios that blew up back then. That's why we don't use an open flame. Now that couple that just walked out, that's their photograph. I still got to be varnished yet. I still got to do prints from that. See where most of my light comes? I got a 10 by 10 foot skylight in here. All these cameras are from the Civil War. They all still work. Now, the camera itself is nothing more than a box. Okay? It's a set of lenses, and in between is what's called a, a stop. What that does is control the amount of light that comes through the camera. When you look inside the camera from the back, there's not an awful lot going on there. It's just a big empty hole. Okay? What happens is the light rays gather into this lens. And this acts almost like a big magnifying glass and magnifies all the light. And it projects it like a movie projector. But it doesn't project it on the wall, it projects it on this piece of glass back here. So why don't you three guys go stand down there for a minute. You come around the back here, honey. Okay. And you can see what I see as we focus the camera. The image is projected upside down and backwards, the same way as your eyes. Now see how they look a little fuzzy there? Mm -hmm. you move the back back and forth. That's how you bring them in focus. You can see here, gentlemen. Now, it's still a little hard to see him though to focus. So, I always see in the old movies the guy's got the cloth over his head. And so he's cutting out all the other light. You can see in there really clearly how to focus all that. So when the time is ready and we get them all set, we have to make sure that the camera doesn't move around because this is very, very, very slow film. Any kind of movement will be a blur, whether it's from the camera or from the person. So we make sure the camera doesn't move, and we make sure the people don't move. Okay, this is called a headrest. This is a real one from the Civil War. All right, there you go, put your head right against that. And that's how they stood there for 14, 15 seconds during the exposure. So what I do is, take my plate after I sensitize it. And in the dark room, I put the plate into a plate holder, close it up, and now I can come out in the bright light because no light has hit this yet. I then open up the back of the camera. Put this on the back of the camera, and now that plate is in focus because I can't see through the camera when I take the picture. So when it's time to take the picture, perfectly still, chins are up, very proud, looking right in the lens. Pull the dark slide out. You can't move at all. And counting. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. For 14 seconds, you have to be perfectly still. And then when we put it back on, I just took their photograph. Now I still have to develop it. But within minutes, they'll be able to see that photograph. Okay, guys, you are great. You can move now. <laughs> so there, how's that for a little history?